Well, welcome to Arts and Minds Online for our seventh session. Arts and Minds is, a, is an art activity program for people living with dementia and their caregivers. And uh, we're meeting online. It seems we've been meeting online for quite a while now. Anyway, it's fun, no matter what. And it's always nice to know that there are some people out there who are enjoying doing these activities and we love hearing from you and, and getting photos of, of uh, the pictures that you've made. So carrying on with our mini theme of spring flowers, last week we did uh, tulips and this week uh, lilacs. So pretty soon they'll be in bloom and pretty soon we can enjoy those wonderful colors, those wonderful uh, pinks and purples and whites and also enjoy that strong perfume that, come, that comes from lilacs. So this is what we're going to be doing today. The materials list, which will be on the screen, uh, will show a choice of materials again. But for this one, um, I am recommending, if you can, to use acrylic uh, paints. Acrylic paints are um, similar to oils. They come in tubes, sometimes bigger tubes like this or little tubes. Um, and they're water-based. Uh, not like oil. So because they're water-based, they're, they're kind of easier to work with. They dry faster uh, and they also clean up better. <laughs> so if you get, get it on your clothes, as I always do, you can wash it off and you can also wash your brushes in water. So that's, that's uh, my recommendation for today. But you can use, I, I did this also with a couple of other um, uh, medium and I, I did one with uh, it's the right way around here. I did one with poster paint, just uh, tempera paint, um, and this turned out uh, not too badly. The colors aren't quite as vibrant, I don't think, but that it, it turned out not badly. And then I didn't think that this was going to work uh, particularly well with watercolors, my favorite, but surprise, surprise, uh, it did. And I think the watercolor uh, one turned out quite nicely. So those are our uh, choices um, for today. If you're going to be using acrylics, then uh, you will need some sort of a canvas. Uh, this is a canvas um, board, a uh, stretched board. It's on, it's on a frame. Uh, or you can also use um, this kind of canvas um, panel, just a flat, flat board like this. If um, you're going to be using um, watercolors, then you're going to need watercolor paper. If you're going to be using poster paint, almost anything will do. Uh, paper, better to have it a bit thicker, sort of like a card stock or, or, or cardboard. So those are three choices that you can use for, for medium today. Um, Whatever medium you choose, you're going to need a brush, you're going to need a cup of water, uh, you're going to need a paper towel, um, you're going to need a pencil, uh, you're going to need, if you're using acrylics, a plate. It's just a, a paper plate. You could just use uh, just an ordinary plate, not your best. China, but you could use an ordinary plate as well because it will it will wash off. So those are the materials that you need. Um, you also need. Um, oh, I should tell you the colors that will be up on on the board as well. You're going to need uh, greens. I've got two here. I've got a light and a dark green. A brown, um, a blue, and I've got two reds, two different reds here, and a white. If you have in your in your paint co collection, if you've got pink or you've got purple, that's great. I didn't. And so I'm going to have to mix when it comes to do that. So if you've already got those colors, um, you're in luck. All right. Um, what else are you going to need? Uh, well, the, this, this palette I mentioned. And I think that's it for materials, but uh, with all of that, oh, goodness, the main, the main thing you need today. Uh, you need... I've got six, five or six cotton swabs um, and an elastic band to wrap around them. Okay. And you might also just have a couple of, of single cotton swabs as well. 
that's a lot of a lot of information and i know that herman will do a wonderful job of making this list clear to, to all of you uh, just before we pause for you to get get your materials ready when i did this i decided that i wanted to paint the background so if you decide you want to paint the background, these canvases come just white. Uh, if you want to paint the background, then you will have to do that first. So that's why I'm telling you now before you pause. This I painted with acrylic, uh, with um, uh, quite a bit of paint, but a lot, but water as well, so that it would it would spread spread um, more. Um, and cover the whole thing so that you're not leaving any any bits of, of white showing from from behind All right. so if you want to have a painted background um, when you pause to to get your materials ready you should paint it then because it takes uh, 10 or 15 minutes to dry before we do the rest of it okay so uh, check the list that's up on the on the screen and um, get your materials ready and then we're ready to go. I'm going to take the uh, reference down here for a second and I'm going to put up just a plain, this is what you will have if you've got a, just a plain canvas board. And we start by um, drawing. You can, you. I know you can't see that because it's too faint, and it, and, that, and it should be faint on yours. But um, I'm going to go over it um, with pencil again and make it make it darker so that you can see what 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 I've done here. So I've just drawn, and you're going to be doing yours when it comes time. You're going to be doing yours very very faint. Uh, so these are the flower shapes of the lilac flowers. And, and it's okay to sort of go off the edge like that. That's good. Okay. Then we've got the branches here. Long branch down here. A little branch. Branch and some leaves. I don't like I don't like drawing it that dark on the canvas. First of all, it's smearing, um, so that's why I say you should do yours your yours very faintly. Okay, right, so it's it's gotten very smudgy and dark because it's uh, um, you shouldn't put the pencil on that uh, that uh, um, strongly like that. So um, take pause now and. Put your drawing on your your canvas board okay now we're ready to paint and we're going to start by painting um the the leaves and and uh and and the branches so with and I, as i said i'm using acrylic paint so i'm going to and i put brown you you, you have your your color list so um and I'm going to make my brush, I'm going to dip it in the water, tap it off so that it's not soaking wet, and take a bit of, take a bit of the brown from here. Spread it up. It's not like watercolor where you put a lot of water on it, just, just to give it, just to make it, we call it juicy. And then this branch, a little thick at the top, and then it thins out as it gets down. I'm going to move this so that you can see that, I think, more closely, I hope. Um, try to keep these branches, because branches are quite thin. Thicker maybe there. Thicker, maybe at the where it joins, and the branches here and there. And if you wish to to add a bit of, of blue to that to make it darker, um, 
it's your choice, but I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Okay, and while before we take a pause to do this, let's just do the leaves. And I mentioned that I have um, two shades of green here. Got a light green, which I like a lot. And just, just kind of turn it around like that. Leave a little bit of white showing. You can, uh, as I say, you can um, just use water for cleaning cleaning your brush. Whoops, I've got too much paint on there. Pressing down and then up for the point. Pressing down here and then lifting up for the point. Like so, and one more leaf. Pressing down and then lifting up over here. And then leaving a little bit showing, a little bit of, of um, just the white canvas showing. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush. And you can just leave it like that. This, that's perfectly fine. But I'm just going to add a little bit of dark. bit. Oops. I don't want to cover that lovely, that lovely um, light green that's underneath too much, but I just want to put a little bit in. Be careful to leave a little bit of white showing. And I think that gives the idea. Okay, all right. Take a pause now and do your um, your little branches and and leaves. Okay. Okay. Now this is the fun part. <laughs> this is where you get to use these Q-tip, these uh, cotton swabs, Q-tips. When you when you bundle up your cotton swabs, make sure that they are all sort of the same, you know, length so that it's flat. Right? You don't have one or two of them sticking sticking out. You might want to have a plain piece of paper to just practice this first because it is a little bit tricky, but fun. So what I'm going to do now with my paints, I'm going to take, because I don't, as I mentioned, I don't have, I don't have pinks and purples, so I have to make, and I'm going to make a pink first. So I'm going to take some white, put it here, fair bit, okay, clean that up. Take a little bit of this. This is a, this is kind of a crimson red, and I hope that's yeah, making a nice, yeah, yeah, that's not bad. You need a fair bit. A little more. Okay, we'll try that. So I've made a pink. Now with my cotton swabs, okay, then I'm going to put the paint on those swabs. Like this. Quite a bit of it so that you cover the whole thing. Then with those swabs, then you go from flower to flower and you just dab. Don't smear it around, just go like this. Just dabbing it. And I'm just gonna do one here. All right. Okay, so. All right. Now I'm going to with my brush make a little bit deeper. We put a little more of that crimson in. Now I'll add a bit of blue and hope we get a nice purple. Not bad, not bad. Same cotton swabs, you should don't clean these. <laughs> okay, just smear that around into that dark, make sure you've got it on all the stuff, then 
So again, just so that you get a variety of colors in here. Dab those around. I think that needs to be quite a bit darker. So take some of that, some more blue. I'm going to get really messy in here right now. If you can see this. Smear it around like this. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. And I'm just giving it a little bit of a twist here to try to get it on. And when you're doing this, it doesn't matter if you go off, you know, what you drew on there is just to give you an idea of the shape of it. Uh, it you don't have to stick with that. And then come off the bottom there a little bit. Okay. Now, oops, I almost put that in the water. Uh, I'm just going to add, I've just taken white this time. Just put a little bit of white here and there. Let me just more there, more there. I'm coming back to this purple again, adding a little white. You can just keep doing this <laughs> until you're until you're satisfied with the way it looks. You know, come outside outside the line there a bit so that you you're covering up the line. Right. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, and I won't bother doing doing each of those because it would take far too much time. So, and you want to get at it. So, um, as, as I mentioned that you, you might want to just on a plain piece of paper, try this technique first and then do it on here. So now is the time to have a little bit of fun with, with these cotton swabs wrapped up tightly with an elastic and uh, play around with your paints so that you've got a, f a fair bit of paint to work with and make sure that you get those tips really quite covered. So away you go and try out painting your, your, your lilacs. So was that fun or not? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the, uh, at the reference again. I think it's kind of a fun thing to do and I think actually I mean, that's what lilacs look like, right? I mean, they're just kind of dots. Let me just come back uh, back to the screen again here. All right, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, a, fun, it's a fun technique um, to use for this particular flower, I think. Uh, anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed doing it. Um, it's, uh, I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, um, when I made mine. Uh, and just to, to let you know that at the end of the video today, we're going to be showing you um, uh, three uh, pictures of uh, work that people have, have sent us, photographs of, of work that they've done, a couple from the mailbox and a couple from, and one uh, from Tulips. We've, we've received others as well. So we encourage you to send uh, photographs of the work that you're doing. We, we, we'd love to see it. And as always, uh, when you're finished with your work, uh, sign it and put the date. So that's it for our, our theme on spring flowers and on lilacs today. Uh, look forward to seeing you the next time. And thanks for joining us. In the meantime, take care.